And welcome back once again to the Renegade Report. I am Greg Kerr. Happy to have uh, Jack Murphy on board, the Cal State wrestler who is undefeated this season. Head coach Jeff, uh, Jeff Chudy just in as well. And now we're happy to be joined by running back Triton Douglas, who, like Jack Murphy, a proud graduate of Frontier High School. We once called you Triton the Titan. I guess we still could, but now we got to come up with a new moniker as you are a renegade. Let me ask you this, Triton. What has been the biggest transition, as far as you're concerned, from the high school level to the home, uh, to the college level, as far as college football? Um, I'd say the biggest transition is just ba the guys, the athletes in general, because when you get to college, it's like, as like a defense lineman, most of them are slow in high school. Mm -hmm. But when you get to college, like, they're all fast. They're all, they could all run you down. They'll all catch up to you. So it's a big difference. And they're all big. Yeah, well, you, I thought I was the big guy in high school and then <laughs> came here and, yeah. Your running style, how would you describe it? Who would you say you run like? Hmm. I mean, my running, I'd describe it as just if I see something, if I see a hole, I'm going to hit it. If someone gets in my way. I'm going to hit it. Yeah, they're not going <laughs> to stop me. So I wouldn't really, I don't really know who I remind Reminds me of. I mentioned myself. coach, like you, you sort of have the build and the running style of like Jerome Bettis. Is that yeah. okay with you? Yeah, it works. Yeah, that works. We'll Hall of that. Famer, why not, yeah. right? Yeah. Let's take a look at some highlights real quick. We showed him to Coach Chudy, but we're going to break down some of the stuff. This is, this is a typical Triton Douglas run where one guy grabs you, maybe two, maybe three, but you still get five or six extra yards. I mean, you just keep the wheels turning, right? Yeah. Just turning the legs. And also, this, this isn't you this time. This is going to be uh, Yegi right here. But uh, he's not exactly Michael Vick, but he does get mm -hmm. yards every once in a while. So some yardage there. And then you finish off this drive. I think this right here is at the 14-yard line. And, again, it's straight north and south. You got a little wiggle to your run, though, right? You got <laughs> yeah. a few moves. But that's just north and south. And just the, the offense put, opened up a big hole for you there. Right. And then, finally, I know they stopped you guys a couple times inside the five. But you finally got in here for a touchdown. And uh, so I don't know if I'm seeing body language or what it is, but are you sort of like talking to those guys after you score? Oh, and I yeah, mean them, not you. I, not your teammates. I mean, you're talking maybe a little bit to the Ventura side. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah? Yeah, because, I mean, in football, everybody, everybody likes – Talking a little bit, but it's all just fun yeah. games. At the, end of the, at the end of the day, we all just shake hands. Yeah, yeah. You're just chirping a little bit because yeah. it's competitive uh -huh. juices. I don't mean it's mean spirited. Oh, yeah. I just mean, you know, you're, you're at it a little bit. You're uh -huh. working hard. You yeah. Got to get them pumped up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so let me ask you this. This was a one in four team at one time. Now you're sitting at six and four. What's been the difference? Um, I think the difference is there's, like in the beginning, there wasn't a lot of leadership, I'd say. Like a lot, there's was, there was a lot of leaders that you could tell, but they wouldn't really step up. And then after that, after we started one and four, we kind of just got got a, got together as a team, and like a couple of leaders actually stepped up and like started talking and like told them how we like how we are and how we're supposed to be, and that this isn't who we are. And so ever since then, we've just been going at it at practice. And the leaders, they don't mope around; they run around the field, they do what they have to do, and a lot of people pick up with that. And then so we just have great practices. Okay, now we're going to pick it up. We've got one more reel of highlights we're going to show, and you're, you're at the tail end of this, but this starts things off. This is uh, Yegi throwing a pass to uh, Dylan Littles, former offensive lineman in high school, by the way. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> at VHS. And then here you are with a, a nice run. Again, I mean, you just plowed over that guy. And uh, safeties and quarterbacks must hate to see guys like you coming. Yeah. And there you are again. And this is – you got a little – you know, step side to the left there and in for the touchdown to put you guys up 17-16 at that point. A game, of course, you eventually won by a final of 25-19. to How much pride do you take in blocking? Um, I take a lot of pride in blocking because, like, playing running back, it's not all about just running. You have to have a blocking game to go somewhere. So, I mean, I, I like blocking. It's, it's fun to me. I mean, everybody likes to score. There's no doubt right. about that. But yeah. at the same time, there's sort of something about – doing the dirty work that maybe nobody notices except your coaches. Sometimes you can get a, a, a athletic high, if you will, when the coach points you out when you're watching film, you know, or you're chalk talking and doing that, <laughs> when he points you out for doing something that maybe nobody in the stadium even recognizes. But you, you, a great block or something like that. Is that sort of something that athletes, you know, you can you, you sort of, you know, take that to heart when a coach points that out? Oh, definitely. And then, like a lot of, like me, I'm not really – all jukey and with that so when I when I get a good block or like pancake somebody that gets me going instead of like you know getting a good spin move or a good juke so 
I take pride in that, and I, I like it. And I like they come to me most of the time because they're trying to get the ball, and I'm protecting it. So they always come to me, so I don't have to go look for them. Yeah. Now, when you when, the style that you have, you're a pretty north south guy a lot of the times, and you run people over. When people have you noticed that when defenders or defenses see your style, do they change anything that they try to do to stop you, whether it's alignment wise or the way they come at you? Because um, I think tackling you high is really stupid, yeah. <laughs> but, but but some still try to do it. Oh yeah, there's there's games where I'll be running the ball and they'll just shoot at my knees, and then they're like, "Oh, I'm not dumb. I'm not going up high." And I'm just like, "I mean, I'm not going to blame you. I wouldn't go up high on me either." So, but yeah, they 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 um usually mostly go low, but if they do go high, they'll learn their lesson and then they'll start going low. They pay the price. Yeah. So tell me, tell me maybe somebody, as we talk about this, it could even be on defense. And I, I, you know, I just sort of thought of this as we were talking. Um, who's maybe a guy on your team that's just a little crazy? And I mean on the field. Is there somebody that's just out there that just maybe you didn't know? Maybe they even went to a rival high school. You didn't know them very well, but then you're on the field. And, and I mean crazy in a good way. They're just sort of – they're always hyped up or there's something. Is there somebody out there that's unique? Maybe that's the best way to put it. You got a unique teammate? Um, yeah, I'd say on defense, like Garrett Brown, he's, he's definitely a unique player in his own way. But somebody who I've known personally is Mitchell Sype. Uh -huh. And as a person, him growing up – I've grown up with him, and as a person – Knowing him personally, hand to hand, and seeing what he's been doing out here, like I, I, like I'm really proud of that kid and what he's what he's accomplished. And I'd say that that that's the kid that I'd say who. Yeah, and Mitchell's had a yeah, nice season too. Yeah, We've yeah. had a lot of highlights. And, and you're me. right. Some people's path is straight, mm -hmm. and they get from here to there, and now they're at BC or whatever. Mitchell's was not that the case in, yeah. in terms of high school, and then mm -hmm. coming through up to Bakersfield College. That's got to be really rewarding, especially since he's been a friend of yours for yeah. a long time. To see see what's it like. What what have you seen in him now that he's succeeding and he's here? What have you seen any change in him or anything of that nature, or just oh, how yeah. rewarding it is for him? Definitely, he he takes more pride in schoolwork and all that stuff, and like going to practice. He actually like goes to practice because he played in uh, I played in high school with him, and he wasn't really like. He didn't really care about practice and all that, but mm -hmm. coming up here and like it's gave him a whole another demeanor on how he looks at life and football. I think, and like he'll, I think he'd tell you himself like it changed him, and so yeah, he comes with a different attitude every day. So all right, twenty probably. seconds. Give me in twenty seconds. Tell me, Chafee College Bowl game four o'clock. Your thoughts? Um, I expect a lot of people to be there. I expect it to be a great game. Always exciting. We always give us, give you guys an exciting game. So hope everybody goes out. Support. It'd be nice to finish with a six-game win streak, 7-4 oh, yeah. record, yeah? Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you like to play Riverside in those teams you lost to earlier again? Oh, definitely. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be <laughs> nice to see that. All right, that's Triton Douglas. We thank Triton for being on board, along with head coach Jeff Chudy, as the Renegades have a five-game win streak. Of course, Jack Murphy, the undefeated wrestler as well. Next week, we'll be talking the bowl game for everyone here at the Renegade Report. I'm Greg Kerr. You have a great week.